Day of the Diesels. On the island of Sodor, it had been a long, hot summer. The sun was shining brightly. The sea sparkled blue, and the days were long and lazy. Thomas's steam floated fluffy and white against a cloudless sky. He chuffed cheerfully around a corner and gasped. <gasps> the bright blue sky was suddenly black. Smoggy smoke rose from the tracks. There was only one thing it could possibly be. Fire! An old farm shed was alight. Thomas saw Percy. Thomas! I'm here, Percy. I'll help. Percy was helping to fight the fire. His face was smudged and sooty. Percy peeped, pleased to see his best friend. I'm running out of water, Thomas. We need more. Don't worry, Percy. I have lots. Sir Topham Hatt was worried. The fire must not spread. Sodor must not be in danger. The two best friends faced the flames. Here it is, Bob. Firemen and farm workers ran and raced. Buckets of water sloshed and splashed from the engines to the flames. Thomas and Percy wished with worry. What can we do, Thomas? We're doing our best, Percy. Suddenly they heard a bell. It clanged and clanked. It was loud and long. Percy was puzzled. What's that? Then, out of the smoke, steamed Bell. <laughs> bell had just arrived on the island. Her brass bell rang. Her whistle blew. I can help, sir. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased. Buffer up, Bell. We need your water. Right away, sir. Then, with a gurgle and a gush, and a rumble and a rush, water shot out of two spouts high on Bell's water tanks. Thomas and Percy were surprised. I've never seen an engine do that before. Yes, one that shoots water from her tanks. You must be Thomas and Percy. I'm Belle. You're big, Belle. You're brave, Belle. I just want to be really useful. So, Belle whooshed water into the flames. They flickered and fizzed. They crackled and cracked. And at last, the fire was out. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased. Well done, Thomas and Percy. And well done, Belle. Welcome to Sodor. Now, chuff to the washdown.